draw the diagram both the diagram now from here onwards actual design parameter or design of the spur gear we are going to start so before that whatever we have seen that are the theoretical parts and out of that theoretical parts only force analysis is the important one and rest things are totally based theory based so here onwards we are going to start the design of the spur gear and for that we'll have to see the beam strength of the spur gear just draw the diagram force you can see uh, the tangential force as well as the radial force how it acts on a gear single gear tooth that here they have shown so just draw it carefully notations also i am going to tell you the small t which is the thickness small b face width small l length of tooth ft tangential force fr radial force resultant force capital f so all kind of the forces which are includes in the spur gear design that we have mentioned on a tooth and then we are proceed for the design डायग्राम झाले की मला सांगा और 
Yes, sir. Okay. Now, see, this is the first part of the design in case of the spur gear arrangement. While considering beam strength, why we have considered beam strength? That is the very important question. We have seen in case of the uh, failures, you can see this chart. You have drawn this. Left side, beam strength. This is bending failure. This is called as a beam strength also. And this is wear failure. Now, while designing, we'll have to start from bending, then we'll move toward the wear, and then we'll move toward the rest of the part in case of the wear failure. So likewise, we are going to design in case of spur gear design. See, this is the beam strength, which is the bending failure. You can see when load is acting on a gear tip, figure B or second figure, when load is acting on a teeth of the, that is tip of the teeth, that we called as a FT, tangential force, and which is, of course, it is UDL, uniform distributed load, throughout the length. So that will be the FT, which is acting, as I told you, in case of the beam strength or the bending failure, gear teeth is always making a cantilever type of beam. So cantilever means what? One end is fixed, other is free, on which load is applied. And because of that load, bending will occur. Therefore, we have named as a beam strength because of the bending. So as an engineer, our role is to avoid this bending or minimize this bending through which failure will occur. So of course, beam strength is nothing but it is defined as the maximum tangential force that is FT, which is acting on a gear T without any failure. That is our role. Minimize the bending or reduce the bending. According to that, we'll have to consider for the tangential force. So that is the major part. So here we are going to consider the cross section. You can see capital B, capital C. This cross section we'll have to consider small t, thickness and all that. So I'll tell you one by one. So here also in case of figure A, they have shown the tangential force, tangent to the tooth, radial force toward the direction of the center. This is FR. And the middle one, that combination of the both that we called as resultant force. So this is about the diagram. You can just write down below that small t, thickness of the teeth, single teeth, small t, thickness of the teeth. Then small b here, small b, face width, face width. Then small l, small l, length of teeth. See here, we have studied about the single teeth and it is applicable to all the teeth of the gear as well as the pinion. Then FT, tangential force. FT, tangential force. FR, radial force. Radial force. Radial force. Okay, so have you written this? Yes, sir. Okay, now see here, in case of the force and notations we have uh, written, now write down the definition, the beam strength, beam strength of a gear tooth, beam strength of a gear tooth, is defined as is defined as maximum tangential load maximum tangential load it means total ft yeah, throughout the length maximum tangential load 
which can act which can act on the tooth without any failure without any failure without any failure correct the analysis of bending stress next line the analysis of bending stress in the gear tooth in the gear tooth done by done by levis so he was the scientist l e w i s so his analysis his formulation we are going to check levis where where he has taken he has taken gear tooth as a cantilever beam gear tooth as a cantilever beam so next heading assumptions what are the assumptions for beam strength so assumptions so why we are making this assumptions because assumptions are help out to finding the outcome approximate outcome so write down assumption levis has uh, done some uh, assumption first write down the effect of radial force fr the effect of radial force which produce the effect of radial force which produce compressive stress compressive stress is neglected so it means due to fr whatever with the load condition whatever with the compression that we will have to consider zero while designing this this was the first assumption second ft tangential force acting throughout the length ft tangential force acting throughout the length in bracket udl uniform distributed load udl correct and third the effect of stress concentration is neglected whatever with the loads coming on a structure that will have to consider as a zero while assuming the things or while while designing the gear tooth so these are the some what assumptions which levis has considered while designing and we need to follow that so right. third assumption ka hai neglecting stress concentration stress concentration is neglected clear सगळ्यांनी हे लिहिलं का व्यवस्थित रे हॅव यू रिटन दिस यस सर ओके नाव नोटेशन ऑल्सो आय टोल्ड यू नाव वी आर गोइंग टू डेव्हलप द इक्वेशन इन केस ऑफ बीम स्ट्रेंथ इन केस ऑफ द बीम स्ट्रेंथ अँड इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज इन ब्रॅकेट आय राईट यू कॅन राईट एफ बी एफ बी बीम स्ट्रेंथ this is beam strength of the spur gear correct now one by one we'll have to design now diagram is with you you can see the bending will occur while load ft acting on a one end of the teeth so while bending in case of that, that we know as per the equation as we know m by i f by y and t by j so that we have seen in the case of the shaft design so for bending we'll have to consider these two equation so this is bending and this is stress you can see and here bending stress sigma b so i'll write here 
सिग्मा बी इज इक्वल टू एम बी वाय बाय आय करेक्ट हे कळालं का हे आठवलं का तुम्हाला बाळनो वी अंडरस्टूड दिस यस सर आय हॅव कन्सिडर्ड दिस दिस एज अ बेंडिंग स्ट्रेस वाय बिकॉज लोड इज ऍक्टिंग अँड ड्यू टू दॅट बेंडिंग विल ऑकर so if bending will occur i will have to consider bending stress if twisting is occur i will have to take a torsional shear stress if tensile is there then i will take tensile stress likewise so here bending will occur on a tooth structure therefore i will have to write a bending stress mb sorry sigma b correct so just write down by using flexor formula by using flexural formula write down this for your understanding exam mode lil nahi tar chalte m m by i f by y that is stress by neutral axis resistance is equal to torsional moment divided by polar moment of inertia for bending we need to consider sigma b for bending we'll, we need to consider sigma b that is m b y by i so as you know i think do need to write mb is the bending moment y is the levis factor and moment of inertia i correct so i hope you have written this the first part of this beam strength we have consider the bending as the name suggest it is a beam strength so our equation i'll write again sigma b is equal to mb y by i now see from the diagram bending moment now tell me which is the bending moment in the diagram whichever you have drawn tell me what will be the bending moment 15 correct i'll write ft tangential force with respect to its length this is bending moment ekdam correct then neutral axis distance <coughs> t by 2 why because ha. t is the portion which will be considered as a cantilever beam and that will be the cross section bc therefore ekdam barobar hai it is thickness by 2 it is thickness by 2 and the moment of inertia for the rectangular cross section can you tell me from the diagram with respect to face width b how much earlier we have taken b by 12 correct now here d is not there so b t thickness divided by 12 we take by 12 so this was the explanation regarding this stress and neutral axis distance so i will have to convert this majhe varu lihun gya samjhel tasa he lihun gya ita parant ala ki sanga mala mb we have written this neutral axis distance this is t by 2 and moment of inertia Btq by 12. इतो परेंत आला का? Just write down from your end. आला इतो परेंत? Now, yes, sir. convert this into simplify format. convert this formulation into simplify format so that will be 12 divided by 2 whole which is 6 whole so i'll write 6 ft as it is right ft tangential force and then there will be the length as it is length divided by b t get cancel t cube t t square raila so therefore i'll write b t square b t square so this will be the bending stress occur due to load in the system ala ita parent now we are consider bending so in case of the bending bending kasha mulo hota because of the tangential load ft correct so it the ft ita hai baka so i will have to consider ft is equal to calculate ft is equal to 
that is sigma b base width t square divided by 6 into l 6 into l equation number 1 1 ila so here tangential force we have calculated tangential force we have calculated alaga ita parin vyavasthit livun gya equation a ala ita parin So below that write down multiply and divide multiply and divide by module multiply and divide by module in above equation in above equation in above equation now I'll write hey erase karu kare Tell me, can I erase this? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now multiply. So numerator and denominator lab M to multiply kara. module. Why module? Because it is the heart of the gear teeth system. Huh? Module. On the basis of module, everything is defined. That's why we'll have to consider. Why? Because module is not included in any term here. That's why we'll have to consider the module. So I'll write the equation here again. See, Ft is equal to Ft is equal to sigma b b t square divided by six into l. Correct. Now multiply and divide by module. So I will have to multiply and divide. And why we are going to multiply this? Because module is the term which is very important and it is not included in the formulation so multiply and divided by module so i will have to convert in simplify format like this here ft is equal to sigma b b correct into module so we have taken this parameter for the designing and then remaining thing we'll have to write in the bracket that is t t that is t square divided by 6 into l and denominator module so this will be the term so that we consider as a bracket. Now I will have to write Ft is equal to tangential force is equal to sigma b b into module. And the Lewis, he was the scientist and he suggested that this term you will have to consider as Lewis factor y. So he has considered the Lewis factor and notation is y. So we'll have to consider the Lewis factor y, correct? So this will be the tangential load in case of the Lewis factor. So just write down this Ft tangential force is Ft is equal to tangential force is tangential force is write down bending stress sigma b into b into m into Lewis factor. into Lewis factor. So why means Lewis factor? It is called as it is called as Lewis factor. Lewis factor. It is called as it is called as it is called as it is by 6 lm is You will have to get directly cap, uh, capital Y. That we called as a Lewis factor. Ita parent ala ka sagre yogi ta sodun baki jan jan sir pa jit malavar ka. Ita parent ala ka. Sir, aji value ka hai. Ita parent ala ka mi purcha sangto apn pura zau the puri chiste pa hai. Pan ita parent samaj lo ka ita parent ala ka baki che. Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes sir. So this will be about. Tangential force we have calculated. Me again at the iter lito applicable space availability. Come as the one. So, why is Lewis factor to be lila? 
वन बाय वन आता अपन बीम स्ट्रेंथ अपल टाइटल है बीम स्ट्रेंथ बीम स्ट्रेंथ कुछ दिशत नहीं अपन का टैंजेंशियल फोर्स बेन्डिंग हो रहा है सो वॉट इज द रोल ऑफ देन बीम स्ट्रेंथ सो बीम स्ट्रेंथ पर इक्वेशन लिखो वॉट वॉज द इक्वेशन एफ टी इज इक्वल टू सिग्मा बी बी इंटू एम इंटू वाय दिस विल बी द इक्वेशन नाउ बिकॉज ऑफ द टैंजेंशियल फोर्स देर विल बी द बेन्डिंग ऑकर या टैंजेंशियल फोर्स मुझे बेन्डिंग होते टू सो देर फोर वील हेव टू कन्सिडर एफ टी इज इक्वल टू टैंजेंशियल फोर्स इज इक्वल टू बेन्डिंग फोर्स दैट इज बीम स्ट्रेंथ बीम स्ट्रेंथ है अपना टाइटल है करेक्ट सो देर फोर मा इक्वेशन इज एफ बी इज इक्वल टू सिग्मा बी बी एम वाय एंड दिस विल बी द डेरिवेशन फॉर बीम स्ट्रेंथ ऑकर इन द डिजाइन ऑफ द स्पर गियर राइट ऑन दिस दिस इज द फाइनल इक्वेशन we we'll have to to consider the the tangential force because of that bending will occur therefore Ft Ft is equal to Fb beam strength and it will be Fb is equal to, beam strength strength and it will be sigma sigma b b m y sigma b b m y we are considered अलग है इतपर्यत वन बाय वन राइट एफ बी नोटेशन बीम स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ गेयर टूथ बीम स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ गेयर टूथ सिग्मा बी बेंडिंग स्ट्रेस बेंडिंग स्ट्रेस स्मॉल बी फेस वेट स्मॉल बी फेस वेट एम मॉड्यूल M module and y is Levis factor. Y is Levis factor. Clear? So this will be the derivation. It can be asked for five or six marks. So to mala he ya ilas pai je. Correct? So our equation. Itun pura beam strength se sagra ke rice equation hai tasna bol. So te ekada parameter change huna. So vele vele I'll tell you. Sigma b b m Why? So this will be the equation for bending beam strength. Now one by one, we'll have to look what are the things. So, see, sigma b we need to calculate. Alay ka rehi to pare? Yes, sir. Okay. Now sigma b. See here, sigma b we need to calculate. Sigma b means bending. Earlier, now bending will occur because of the fluctuation. So many loads sudden. at the time of the meshing sudden load is coming vibrations are coming so it means that fluctuation load and we have seen in dme1 third unit fluctuating load and lot many parameters we have seen so i'll write here endurance strength ac is equal to what k kb ac kd and ac dash asa apan shikle correct now here ac means endurance strength Dr. R. R. Mori, he has explained the experiment. Upon the drop on Kerala, so he has suggested that whatever be the induce endurance strength will occur, that we need to consider as a bending. That's how much bending होते. So sigma b is equal to. If I consider this value, upon my to the service factor है, reliability factor है, correct? Modifying factor है. ये सब आपन calculate चार टर्म के लिए. So if I take this value in case of the steel material, so I will have to get point six. टाइप मध्य वैल्यू मिले एंड दैट एसी डैश तुम लक्ष्य तो एसी डैश अपन पॉइंट फाइव ऑफ एस यू टी एक्जाम विचार नहीं तुम्हारे अंडरस्टैंडिंग संगत कारण शिकले आहोत सो सिग्मा बी इज इक्वल टू पॉइंट सिक्स सिक्स इन टू मल्टीप्लाय बाय पॉइंट फाइव के लिए मैं एस यू टी बाय थ्री का कारण विच इज इक्वल टू पॉइंट थ्री 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 एस यू टी कन्वर्जन है एस यू टी बाय थ्री सो दैट विल बी द बेंडिंग स्ट्रेच इतना कुछ लिख गेर मध्य सिग्मा बी ची वैल्यू मी वहां आई विल हेव टू टेक एस यू टी बाय थ्री दिस विल बी द डेरिवेशन कहल का वी अंडरस्टूड वाय सिग्मा बी विल हेव टू टेक एस यू टी बाय थ्री तो 
इलेबरेट कर इम्पॉर्टंट वन हिर सो सिग्मा बी अपन कसा का देन वेल हेव टू मूव टूवर्ड द फेस वेड Always remember this face width is always situated ten times modular, ten times modular, not meter. The half times modular state. And in any as per the reference book range, the level is nine to fifteen modular. Per in the upon give us a two point. We to mala standard sa sangi kati kaim ha ten times modular sto everywhere. So in industry. नौ ते पंद्रह पर्यत वैज पर द रिक्वायरमेंट सो दिस इज अबाउट द फेस विट हा दुसरा पैरामीटर अपन बगित करेक्ट नाउ मॉड्यूल एज वी नो मॉड्यूल इज इक्वल टू टी वाई जेड चेंज होना नहीं तो फिर बगा पीनियन चाहिए का गेयर चाहिए नाउ हियर इज द टर्म लेविज फैक्टर लेविज फैक्टर लेविज फैक्टर घर लेविज फैक्टर सा पर अपने कैलक्युलेशन कर गरज नहीं कारण तो फैक्टर लेविज साइंटिस्ट ने डिजाइन के एंड ही हेज गिवन द इंडिकेशन बाय प्रैक्टिकली टेस्टेड ही हेज डेवलप वन इक्वेशन एंड दैट इक्वेशन वील हैव टू डायरेक्टली यूज दैट वी कॉल्ड अ लेविज फैक्टर बट ही हेज मेन्शन दिस लेविज फैक्टर ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ टूथ प्रोफाइल टूथ प्रोफाइल कुछ कुछ टूथ प्रोफाइल बगित अपन मैं संगा टूथ प्रोफाइल What kind of the tooth profile we have seen? Tell me. Lakshya, the kare baano tooth profile apn kut kutle bagitle. Fourteen point five degree full depth. Fourteen point five degree composite. Twenty degree full depth. Twenty degree stub. Ato the ka. Yes, sir. Yes, that are the tooth profile we have to consider throughout the syllabus. Throughout the syllabus, man, do you mean? Because books, man, the twenty-five degree per end delete tooth profile. Kahi upyog nahi hai. So we have to use fourteen point five and twenty degree. And uh, as I told you, ninety-nine percent we have to use twenty degree full depth profile. So for that, I'll write first point right down for twenty degree full depth. Tooth profile for 20 degree full depth tooth profile. The Lewis factor is considered. That's what the Lewis factor. Kiti asko? At the Lewis scientist na dilay lai. So he has given y is equal to. Lakshya ke wahi value hai uski. So mal practice karun ye is 0.484 minus 2.865 divided by z number of teeth. So this is for the 20 डिग्री फुल डेप सगै एक्जाम्पल ही वैल्यू चो लक्षा गया पॉइंट फोर एट फोर मैनस टू पॉइंट एट सिक्स फाइव डिवाइड बाय जेड लेविज फैक्टर ने डिड के लिए प्रैक्टिकल इम्प्लिमेंटेशन कर देन ही हेज फॉर्म्युलेटेड द थिंग्स करेक्ट जर तीन विचार बाबा लेविज फैक्टर पीन यहाँ पाजे तो मैं इतने लिखना वाईपी एंड इतने लिखना जेड पी नंबर ऑफ टीथन पीनियन जर तीन गेयर का विचार तो वाय जी मन मैं इत इतना मी गेयर का जी जेड जी दैट इज एज सिंपल एज दैट दिस इज फॉर लेविज फैक्टर इन केस ऑफ द ट्वेंटी डिग्री टूथ प्रोफाइल ट्वेंटी डिग्री टूथ प्रोफाइल ओके नाउ सेकेंड अपन बेसिक दोन टूथ प्रोफाइल बगित सेकेंड राइट ऑन फोर्टीन पॉइंट फाइव डिग्री Tooth profile. Of course, it is full depth. 
स्टैंडर्ड बुक्स एक्जाम पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू त्याच वापरल्या जातात याच व्हॅल्यू दिलेल्या आहेत तो याच रेफर करायचा इज दिस इज दिस अंडरस्टूड हे समजलं का सगळ्या गोष्टी ओके सो दिस इज अबाउट द बीम स्ट्रेंथ सो आता आपण बघितलं की बीम स्ट्रेंथ कशा पद्धतीनं वील हॅव टू फॉर्म्युलेट नाव हिअर इज द क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन इज दॅट once we have calculated the beam strength what is next while designing what is next so if we can see this as the graph block diagram what it shows bending failure ye apan calculate kele yachat apan anta parameter we have seen fb is equal to sigma b b m y sagle parameter study kele now ata apan ikade jao chart cha right side la manje wear so wear failure hai bending la beam strength manla wear la wear strength man so just write down wear strength wear strength of the spur gear wear strength of the spur gear wear strength of the spur gear ek ek parameter apan cover karto ani tes design ahe nothing else so we we'll have to follow atta je mi deto tyat sequence na apan example suddha tyat sequence ta sodvaycha ahe so next heading wear strength notation kay yel kon sangu shakel ka previous base varun wear strength so notation is fw this will be called as a wear strength correct wear strength madhe apan shiklelo ki where there is a formation of the crack before failure that will be the wear strength manje mi tumhala sangitle bending i can or we can avoid but in case of the wear strength if any product is going to bend or formation of the crack it will leads to failure after some cycle so that we have seen so in that case we'll have to write the wear strength of the spur gear so in that write down the definition of the wear strength a definition mana and write down the maximum tangential load the maximum tangential load the gear tooth maximum tangential load the gear tooth can take gear tooth can take without pitting failure pitting manje kay don't add pitting ek initial and destructive initial manje crack form hoto to material add karun fill karu shakto apan so tooth can take without pitting failure without pitting failure correct that we called as a wear strength that we called as a wear strength now how to calculate wear strength the sapan beam strength we have seen so wear strength is write down wear strength is defined by wear strength is defined by using buckingham's equation again buckingham he was the scientist तिकडे लेविस होता इथं बकिंग हॅम्स आहे बकिंग हॅम्स बकिंग हॅम्स इक्वेशन करेक्ट नाव वॉट इक्वेशन ही हॅज गिव्हन सो आय राईट हिअर फॉर द वियर स्ट्रेंथ एफ डब्ल्यू डायरेक्ट इक्वेशन ही हॅज गिव्हन नो डिरिव्हेशन एफ डब्ल्यू इज इक्वल टू डी पी 
बी क्यू के डीपी बी क्यू के वन बाय वन फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड एंड देन ओनली राइट ही हेज सजेस्टेड डीपी इज नथिंग बट डायमीटर ऑफ द पिनियन है सो एज वी नो एम इज इक्वल टू डी बाय जेड so in case of the opinion dp by zp so therefore dp is equal to m into zp ye kala la kare dp m is m into zp is that understood yes sir so this will be the pinion diameter m into zp as we know base width 10 times module i will have to directly write now here is the question q q is called as a ratio factor now ratio factor what, what kind of the ratio ratio at the time of the meshing so you can see in a gear tooth profile pinion and gears are mesh with the external mesh that will be the external mesh can teeth are outside and it will be the mesh externally when teeth are mesh externally the ratio factor is always twice of zg that is number of teeth on gear डिवाइडेड बाय जेड जी प्लस जेड पी लक्ष्य कभी जेवीच आर एक्सटर्नल नव्याण टे एक्सटर्नल मेसिंग होते टीच आर एक्सटर्नल बट वेन टीच आर इंटरनल देन क्यू इज इक्वल टू रेशो फैक्टर इज इक्वल टू है तो इक्वेशन रहता फिर प्लस ऐसी मैनस होता दट इज जेड जी मैनस जेड पी इन केस ऑफ इंटरनल आई एन टी इंटरनल टीथ मेसिंग करेक्ट या दोन गोष्टी आहेत सो वन बाय वन आपण लिव सो बिलो दॅट जस्ट राईट नाव बी आर स्ट्रेंथ एफ डब्ल्यू इज इक्वल टू पहिले क्वेश्चन घ्या बी आर स्ट्रेंथ एफ डब्ल्यू इज इक्वल टू डी पी बी क्यू के डी पी बी क्यू के ठीक आहे डी पी म्हणजे डायमेटर ओपिनियन आता हे इनबिल्ड असतं बरं का बरीच मुलं इथे टीची करतात काही नाहीये इनबिल्ड म्हणजे काय हे क्वेश्चन कधी कुठेही वापरलं तरी तर पिनियनचाच डायमीटर येणार दॅट इज व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट पिनियनचाच डायमीटर येणार इन टू फेस विथ दॅट इज फेस विथ आपण माहित आहे क्यू विल राईट डाऊन रेशो फॅक्टर क्यू इज इक्वल टू रेशो फॅक्टर अँड के इज इक्वल टू लोड स्ट्रेस फॅक्टर लोड स्ट्रेस फैक्टर टू वन बाय वन लिया डीपी इज इक्वल टू एम इन टू जेड पी का आलते मैं तुम्हारा एक्सप्लेनेशन दिल एम इन टू जेड पी देन फेस विथ इज इक्वल टू टेन टाइम्स मॉड्यूल फेस विथ इज इक्वल टू टेन टाइम्स मॉड्यूल देन रेशो फैक्टर व्यवस्थित लिख लिया क्यू Q is a ratio factor. त्याच्यात केस नंबर वन असं टाका किंवा कंडिशन वन कंडिशन वन वेन वेन टीथ आर मेश वेन टीथ आर मेश एक्सटर्नली ऑफकोर्स कुणाचे गेअर पेअरचे बरं का पिनियन आणि गेअरचे एक्सटर्नली देन the ratio factor will be the ratio factor will be write down q is equal to q is equal to twice of zg divided by zg plus zp zg plus zp ani tasa second condition la when teeth are mesh internally when teeth are mesh internally we will have to write instead of plus minus kara he fakta exam madhe bagun gyaycha ki what teeth kashe mesh ale of course external mesh hot asta pan mi tumhala doni goshti sangitle itha paryant samajla ka balana is that understood
Ishwanku, Utkarsh, are you getting it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So right now time is over. So you just revise the things, whatever we have covered. Today we have seen only beam strength and wear strength. So simple formulation and one derivation for it we have seen. So just go through it, revise it so that we'll have to move in, uh, move next part in upcoming sessions. Okay. Okay. Thank you.